first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this video number one on the preparation of ssc exams 2022 so now we are going to solve previous year question that was on the topic called percentage right so every time you know uh, if you take ssc exams the more number of question only from the topic called the percentage algebra time and work there are some topics right so only they are concentrating more on this area so now from this video number one we will be like solving some memory based question of percentage and then we can go with algebra time and work etc so before uh, ssc exam i will definitely try to post all the topics videos that is important for ssc exam right so when's now entering into this percentage topic so kindly before watching this video first be strong on the basics right you need to know all the basic concept of the topic percentage only then you can able to solve these types of questions if you don't know the basics kindly go to my youtube channel or my website you can able to find a separate topic called the percentage in the playlist we have posted nearly six to seven lesson only on the topic percentage like percentage basics percentage that is based on marks percentage that is based on orders populations formulas different kinds of formulas everything i have taught you in the basic video so try to watch all those videos and learn the basics under percentage and then if you come and watch this video number one two three etc then definitely you can able to crack all those questions right so uh, and uh, never forget there are three important formulas in the topic percentage one is x is what percentage of y and the second formula x is what percentage more or less than y and the third important formula is percentage change so these are the major there are many formulas in percentage leave all those stuff because 90 percentage of the question you can able to solve in a percentage by a shortcut or else by looking at the options only some uh, questions it requires a formula that to this three formula is more than enough right so uh, let me move on to all the previous year question that is on the topic called the percentage so question number one a person who spends 66 2 by 3 percentage of his income is able to save rupees 1200 per month so is monthly expenses so what is our target our target is to find what the, what is the monthly expense right so monthly expense we need to find out the monthly salary of the person the monthly expense of the person we need to find right so here a person who spends 66 2 by 3 percentage so how much percentage he spends that is 66 2 by 3 percentage he spend from his salary let me keep some salary from that salary is spending amount is 66 2 by 3 percentage right and according to the question what they are saying is and he able to save 1200 per month right so every month he saves 1200 our target is to find what is the monthly expense so first what we can do here is 66 2 by 3 percentage is what from the total salary is expenses 66 2 by 3 then what is the savings amount that is savings percentage will be 33 1 by 3 percentage yes or no can able to see how i found this answer just see 100 percentage is the monthly salary let me keep like this 100 percentage is that person monthly salary from this 100 percentage he spent 66 2 by 3 percentage of money yes or no so when you subtract 166 2 by 3 resultant answer will be 33 1 by 3 yes or no when you add these two numbers resultant will be 100 so we can say that 33 1 by 3 percentage will be a savings amount right savings percentage so this will be expense percentages yes? this is the amount that he spent so we can say that 66 2 by 3 will be the expense percentage 33 1 by 3 percentage will be the savings so now we got 33 1 by 3 percentage savings which is equal to 1200 because in the question they have directly given that 33 1 by 3 percentage is the savings so the savings amount 1200 so first initially let me find what is 100 percentage that is the person monthly salary so 100 percentage is equal to x so we can cancel percentage and percentage here so x is equal to 1200 into 100 so divided by 33 into 3 will be uh, 98 98 plus 1 will be 100 so resultant will be 100 divided by 3 so when you bring the 3 to the numerator so we can cancel so this becomes x is equal to 3600 so when listen here 
This is not the final answer. Why? Because we have found only the person salary. 100% is what? The person salary. So the person monthly salary will be 3600. And what is the savings amount every month? Is 1200. So 1200 is the savings amount. This will be the salary of the person. When you subtract salary minus savings, the resultant will be 2400. So 2400 is what? The monthly expense. So finally, the answer for this question, where 2400 is the person monthly expense. So friends, understood how I solve the question. Just see. So initially, what are all the values they have given us? They have given this expense percentage, that is 66 2 by 3 percentage. And then they have given the person savings amount. So initially, what we did from the total salary, we kept as 100 percentage. So from that 100 percentage, we have subtracted the person expense. So resultant will be the savings percentage. So we know that savings amount is 1200. So savings percentage is equal to the savings amount. So 100 percentage salary is equal to X. So initially we have found the salary of the person is 3600. So after finding the salary of the person, we subtract the total salary with the savings. 3600 minus of 1200 is monthly savings. So resultant 2400 will be the expense of the person. So answer for first question will be 2400. Question number two. So the income of C is 20% more than B's income and income of B is 25% more than A. So find how much percentage is C's income is more than A. See what is our target? Our target is to find how much percentage of C income is more than A. So our target is to compare C's income with A's income. And most important word that is more. Just now in the beginning of the video I have told you there are some important formulas in the topic percentage. One is X is what percentage of Y and the second formula is X is what percentage more or less than Y and the third formula will be the percentage change. So these three formulas are most important in the topic percentage, right? So here our target is to find the C salary, right? C's income is how much more than A's income. So what is the formula here? We need to compare with A. So if you need to compare with A, the denominator should be A and the numerator should be both the person difference into 100. That is C's income, difference A's income. The person what we need to compare is the person A. So that should comes in the denominator. So into 100. So now after finding all the value, if you substitute in a formula, that will be a resultant answer, right? So now according to the question, the income of C is 20 percentage more than B. So first let me find what is the 3 person income. Just see, the income of C is 20 percentage more than B, right? So the income of B is 25 percentage more than A. So first they are comparing C with B. Next they are comparing B with A. So what we can do here is first let me keep the salary that is income of the person that is A as 100. So 100 percentage will be the A's income. So now according to B what they have said is 25 percentage more than A. So the where B's income is 25 percentage more. So what is 25 of 100? So 25 of 100 will be 25. So 125 will be what? So 125 will be the B's income. Got it or not? Because B's income is 25 percentage more than A. So if it is 25 percentage more than A, so 25 of 100 will be 25. So 100 plus 25 resultant will be 125. So 125 will be the income of the person B. So now the income of C. So income of C is how much? 20 percentage more. So from this point 125 comparing with B it is 20 percentage more. What is 10 percentage is 12.5. What is 20 percentage? 12.5 plus 12.5 will be 50. So resultant answer will be 125 plus 25 will be 150. So friends understood how I found this. Just see where C's income is 20 percentage more, right? What is 20 percentage of 125? 10 percentage will be 12.5. Another 10 percentage will be 12.5. So when you add both the numbers, resultant will be 25. So 25 increase. So 125 plus 25 resultant will be 150. So 150 will be the income of C. So B's income will be 125. A's income will be 100. So finally, now what is our target? We need to compare C's income with A, right? So A's income is how much? 100. So we need to write the value on the denominator, right? Always 
which person we are going to compare should come in the denominators. Denominator. Got it? So now C's income is how much more? So we need to compare C and A. C's income is how much? 150. A's income is how much? 100. So comparing C with A, resultant will be 50. Got it? So 150 difference 100 will be 50. So 50 by 100 into 100, cancel 100 and 100 here. So the resultant will be 50 percentage. Got it? So final answer will be 50. So 50 percentage more when compared to A. So this is the way you have to solve this question number 2 in this format question. Some students will feel difficult to find percentage values. So if you find difficult, then you can do like this. Just see, we can take uh, first B value, right? So B is how much percentage more than A is 25 percentage more, right? So what they usually some students do is instead of finding directly 25 percentage, they will write like this. So 25 by 100. Got it? Resultant will be 1 by 4. So 1 by 4 part more than A. So 100 is where A's income is how much? 100. How much part more? 1 by 4 part more. So 1 by 4 part will be 25. That is 25 rupees more. So from 100, if it is 25 rupees more, it's 125. So this is also another way of solving, right? If you difficult to find in terms of percentage, some students will convert this percentage in terms of fraction and then they will multiply with the income of A. So it is easy to get the answer. It is your wish, right? So practice all the methods I have taught you. So which method is suits for you, then you can proceed solving the question by that method, right? But always, uh, instead of, according to my wish, I would say that uh, it's converting into percentage seems to be a childish method. So you can directly try to practice like this. Find what is 10 percentage, 12.5. Then 20 percentage will be 12.5 plus 12.5 plus 25 so add 25 with this number resultant will be 150 so if you practice like this then you can uh, solve most of the question in the mind calculation so got it so finally answer for question number two is what uh, where 50 percentage is the c's income more than a so question number three so in a town the population was 8000 so in one year male population was increased by 10 percentage and the female population was increased by 8%. But the total population has been increased by 9%. So the number of males in the town was. So what is our target is? Our target is to find why the total population of the town is how much? 8000. So friends listen here. Our target is to find from this 8000 how many male populations are there. Right? This is the thing we need to find. But what they are saying is in one year the male population has been increased by how much percentage? 10 percentage, yes. So 10 percentage where the male population has been increased. So similarly, the female population has been increased by 8 percentage, right? So if male, pers male population increased by 10, female has been increased by 8. And another important point they have given is the total population has been increased by 9 percentage. So what is the meaning of this? Just see, the total population has been increased by 9%, right, after one year. So, in this 9%, we have male as well as female, right. So, in the total, where 10% is male and 8% is female. Friends, can you able to understand it, what I am saying? So, from 8000, so in one year, 9% of the population has been increased, right. So, now, let me, let me solve this question. Just see here. So from 8,000, right, after one year, how much total population has increased? 9 percentage. So 9 by 100. So we can cancel 0, 0 here. 8, 9 are 72. So resultant will be 720. So now 720 is what? 720 will be the increase in population after one year. So in this 720, right, inside this 720, we have male as well as we have female. So now what they have said is the male population is increased by 10, female population has been increased by 8. So in this 720, we have male 10 percentage population increase as well as female 8 percentage population increase. Got it? So now what we can find is, so we have found the 720 will be the increase in population. That is 720, where from 8000, 720 people has been increased in one year, population. So just listen here friends. Well, I think we can solve this question by two methods. One is by allegation mixture method. If you know, you can solve in that way. Or else you can proceed in a normal way. First, let me teach you the normal way. Just see here, 8000 is what? 8000 will be the total population. So from the total population, let me keep it as X. X will be some amount, will be male population. 
So remaining 8,000 minus X will be the female population. So friends, yes or no? Right? If 2,000 is male, then the remaining 6,000 will be female. So we don't know how many male population are there. So let me keep the male population as X. So female population will be the remaining amount. So now what we can do here is, just listen carefully, from the male population, how much percentage increase is 10 percentage. So 10 percentage of X, understood or not? From the total population male, 10 percentage increase. So plus, from the total female population, how much increase as 8 percentage? So 8 percentage of 8000 minus X. So resultant will be the total increase of population will be 720. So if you know how I wrote this, then solving this complete question is easy. So friends, understood or not? Right? From the male population, 10 percentage increase. For the female population, 8 percentage increase. So the total increase of male and female is how much? 720, which is 9 percentage. So now we can find that this can be written as 10 by 100 into X. So plus 8 by 100 into 8000 minus X is equals to 720. So let me take LCM 100 and bring towards right hand side. So resultant will be 10X plus 64,000. So minus of 8X is equals to 72,000. Right? So 10X and 8X will be 2X. So 72,000 minus 64,000 will be 8,000. So 2X is equal to 8,000. So X is equal to 4,000. Got it? So finally, we can say that the value of X will be 4000. What is the value of X? We have kept the value of X as male population. So we can say that the male population will be 4000. Out of 8000, 4000 is the male population, which will be the answer for this question. So when is understood or not? So this is the normal way to solve the question. Normal way, right? If you want a shortcut, then I think if you need to solve this question by a shortcut, then you have to go with allegation and mixture. So before going with allegation and mixture, every time you guys need to know one thing, why you are using the allegation mixture for it. Right? That is important, right? For every question you can't be able to solve in allegation mixture. Only for some question you need to use in the percentage, that is by allegation and mixture. So why you need to go with this method? Because just see here, when you should go is, when this 9 per just listen carefully, this 9 percentage, right, total population increase, in this 9 percentage, inside this 9 percentage, we have 10 percentage as well as we have 8 percentage. Yes or no? So what we can do here is male population is 10 percentage increase. Female population is 8 percentage increase. The total population increase is how much? 9 percentage. So now cross it. Right? This is the way we have learned allegation mixture. So 10, 9 percentage will be 1. 8, 9 percentage will be 1. So final ratio will be 1 is to 1. So 1 is to 1 will be the male and the female population. So the total population is how much? 8000. If it is 1 is to 1 ratio, then half will be male, half will be female. Or else you can calculate like this. Just see, 8000 will be the total population. We Our target is to find the male. So male is in 1 ratio divided by the total ratio 2. So you can cancel, result and will be 4000. Right? Without using these steps, you can able to find the answer in a simple way. Got it or not? So in this 9 percentage, we have male as well as we have female. So that's the reason we are going with allegation mixture. So out of this 9 percentage, 10 percentage male, 8 percentage female. So 10 minus 9 will be 1, 8 minus 9 will be 1. Got it. So 1 is to 1 ratio, male and female. So out of 8000, if there are 1 is to 1 ratio, then half male and half female. So we can say that 4000 will be male. So remaining 4000 will be female. Got it? So this comes only in practice because you need to practice more number of questions because for which question we need to use allegation mixture method is important, right? We can't able to use for every question. So only if you practice, you can solve, right? In the allegation mixture, that to keep it in mind. So from the if one percentage, from this percentage, that is one percentage, if there are another percentage, two percentage embedded in it, keep like this. In this one percentage, there are two percentage embedded. Yes or no? In this nine percentage total population increase, we have 10 percentage male as well as eight percentage female. So two percentage has been embedded in it. So if, if you find like that, then go with allegation and mixture. You can easily able to crack it. So when that's it. So answer for, I think, uh, answer for this question, where 4,000 will be the male population. So question number four. 
So if 80 percentage of the number is added to 80 gives the result as the number itself, then the number is. So let's listen here. These are the question where repeatedly these kinds of question, right? So it's a small, a basic question. So these are the question many times in SSC exam we have seen it. Just see what they are saying is understand the concept. 80 percentage of the number is added to 80, right? So for some number, right? Let me keep that number as X. We don't know what number it is. So for this number, we have to find initially what is 80 percentage, right? And add that number to 80. So the result and the answer should be again the number itself. Understood or not? So we need to find what is 80 percentage of the number and add the result and the answer with 80. When you add both, the result and answer will be again the x itself. So our target is to find what is this number. So friends, we can solve this question by two methods. One is a normal percentage method or else by looking at the options. Option method will be very simple if you are fast in percentage calculations. Just see here, first let me move on to the normal method. So what we can do is, let me keep that number as x because that number, we it's an unknown number. So we can keep that number as x. So now according to the question, we need to initially find 80 percentage of the number. So 80 percentage of x plus 80. We need to find what is 80 percentage of the number and we need to add with 80. So the resultant answer will be the number itself, which is x itself. Got it? So 80 percentage of x will be 80 by 100 into x is equal to 80 is equal to x. So now we can cancel. What we can do is, sorry, yes, plus here. I'm really sorry. Plus. So is equal to x. Got it? So now either you can multiply and you can find the answer or else you can take an LCM. Uh, which uh, just solve which method it suits for you right so we can say that 80x plus 8000 is equal to 100x so friends got it or not what i did just i have taken lcm as 100 so multiply 80 into 100 will be 8000 so moving on to this denominator number to right hand side it becomes 100 into x will be 100x so now 100x minus 80x will be 20x so 20x is equal to 8000 so x is equal to 400 so which means the number will be 400. So the value of x will be 400. Got it? So this is the normal way to find the answer to solve these types of question, right? If you move on to the shortcut, shortcut is very simple. Only if you uh, go with mind calculation or else that too will be a long method, right? First look at the option number A. Option number A is what? 200, right? So option number B is how much? 300. Option number C is what? 400. Option number D will be 500. Got it? So now, when you take that x as 100, right? For example, I'm saying if you take x as 200, what is 80 percentage of 200? Just find what is 80 percentage of 200 will be 160. Yes or no? So when you find 80 percentage of this 200 will be 160. So 160, we need to add the resultant 80 percentage with 80. So what is the total answer here? When you add both, resultant will be 240. But what is our target? When you add 80 percentage of the number and add with 80, the resultant should be 200 itself, the number itself. So we can say that option number A is wrong. So similarly, go with all the method, right? Find what is 80 percentage of 300. 80 percentage of 300 will be 240. So 240 plus 80, resultant will be 320. But our target is to get 300. Option number B is also wrong. Go with option number C, 400, right? Find what is 80 percentage. So 80 percentage of 400 will be 320. So 320 plus 80, resultant is what? 400, yes? When you find 80 percentage of 400 and add with 80, the resultant answer will be the same number. Yes, 400, 400. So we can say that option number C will be your answer for this question, right? Got it. So this is like by using an option method you can solve or if you if you want to solve the question normally a traditional method you can go like this. Both the methods seems to be easy. Got it. And uh, this fourth question is important question for this SSE, railway exams, etc. Why? Because you can able to see one question in this pattern in every competitive exams. So answer for question number four where the value of x will be 400. So question number five. So the ratio 5 is to 4 expressed as percentage equal. See, question is very simple, but you need to understand that important concept, right? Whenever, if they are asking like convert a ratio in terms of percentage 
or a decimal value in terms of percentage or any number in terms of percentage you have to multiply by 100 keep that in mind so just see very simple question so they have given the value in terms of ratio that is 5 is to 4 so you you know the basic method, right what is a is to b so a is to b can be written as a by b so similarly here 5 is to 4 so 5 is to 4 can be written as 5 by 4 so now we need to convert this 5 by 4 in terms of percentage equal so into 100 that's it so whatever be if we need to convert in terms of percentage multiply by 100 so cancel 4 times here which is 25 so 25 into 5 will be 125 percentage so finally we can say that so converting 5 in, 5 is to 4 ratio in terms of percentage equal resultant will be 125 percentage so question number 6 in an examination a candidate must secure 40 percentage marks to pass a candidate who gets 220 marks failed by 20 marks find the maximum mark for the examination so when just see here this question is completely based on uh, examination based on examination and marks so remember one thing uh, in my youtube channel while posting a topic that is based on percentage i have told you all these concepts percentage that is based on marks percentage that is based on odds right percentage that is based on population so everything we have seen in the percentage topic so if you watch all those videos then definitely solving this question will be very simple so now what they are saying is in the examination a candidate must secure 40 percentage mark to pass right so if he score 40 percentage from the total mark let me keep it as 100 percentage will be the total maximum mark of the examination right from 100 percentage if that person secure 40 percentage then he will be pass right so but actually the person how much he scored he scores 220 220 is the mark that he score and he got failed by 20 marks what is the meaning of it just here he scored 220 and he failed by 20 marks right so the meaning here is if he score another 20 from this mark right if he score additional 20 mark then resultant will be 240 he would have cleared the exam yes or no so he got 220 failed by 20 mark in case if he scored 20 marks more if you add 20 here resultant will be 240 so if he got 240 he would have cleared the exam we know that the pass percentage of the examination is how much 40 so now 40 percentage is the pass percentage in case if he scored 240 he would have cleared the exam so this 40 percentage will be 240 pass mark so we need to find what is the maximum mark 100 percentage is equal to x so x is equal to 240 into 100 so divided by 40 so resultant will be 6 times so x is equal to 600 so which means the uh, maximum mark of the examination will be 600 so this will be the answer for this question you can again solve this uh, question by options by looking at the option you can also be able to find the answer but according to me it's a lengthy process because this result seems to be very easy yes or no just see he secured 220 marks and failed by 20 marks what is the meaning of it in case if he score 20 marks more from the mark what he obtained right so 220 plus 20 will be 240 he could have cleared the exam if he got 240 he could have cleared the exam so if 240 is the pass mark then we know that pass percentage is how much 40 so 40 percentage pass percentage will be the pass mark 240 then what is the total uh, examination maximum mark which is 100 percent equal to x and resultant answer will be the maximum mark it is total mark of the examination got it so it's easy right try to uh, watch my percentage video that is based on examination voters and population everything it's most important for all the competitive exams right so answer for question number six where the maximum mark will be 600 so question number six sorry previous question is not the question six this is the question sixth right so sixth question so the sum of number of boys and girls in a school is 150 so if the number of boys is x then the number of girls becomes x percentage of total number of students than the number of boys is so first try to understand the question properly what they are saying so the sum of number of boys and girls in a school is 150 so the total right so boys and girls so boys and girls where the total strength of the school is how much 150 always remember that i have taught you right if the total is 150 you can't able to find how much boys are there and how much girls are there in 150 what you need to do so in this 150 you need to assume right if x is the number of boys 
then the remaining 150 minus boys will be girls right so never forget it from the total if you don't know how to proceed the question always solve it in this way right from the total if x will be the boys right male sorry boys so the remaining 150 minus x will be the girls right and then if you start solving the question it will be very simple what is the next step if the number of boys is x then the number of girls become x percentage of the total number of students so what they are saying is where the total number of girls become x percentage some percentage of total number of students just see x percentage of total number of students what is the total number of students here which is 150 so x percentage of 150 what is it become the girls become x percentage of total number of students so x percentage of total number of students resultant will be the girls right and we already know that how much girls are there from the total if you subtract boys resultant will be girls so this girls can be written as 150 minus x everyone's understood so this is the most important step to solve this question so just see how i wrote this this is most important right what they have given us x percentage the girls become x percentage of total number of students so we don't know what percentage from total number of students so according to the question we kept as x percentage of total number of students resultant is equal to girls so you should have already written this right this is the important step here so from 150 right if x is the boys then remaining 150 minus x will be the girls so is equal to girls here so we instead of girls we have written 150 minus x so now try to solve it so this can be written as x by 100 into 150 is equal to 150 minus x cancel 0 and 0 here cancel it on 5 table 5 threes are 15 5 twos are 10 so this can be written as 3x is equal to 300 minus 2x so when you bring the 2x towards left hand side it becomes plus 2x so 5x is equal to 300 so resultant will be 60 so x is equal to 60 so which means the total number of boys we have kept x as boys so total number of boys will be 60 and what about the girls 150 minus 60 will be 90 so 90 will be the total number of girls got it so this is the answer for the question so interesting or not right? very interesting to solve so the only thing is you need to know all these concepts right whenever i think i have taught you everything in my youtube channel so if you watch that complete percentage tutorial videos then definitely you can able to solve this question always remember that this is the most important step whenever from the total you can't able to find how much boys and how much girls are there then proceed in this way from the total keep boys as x or else uh, male and female or uh, many formats they usually give from the total population we have male population this much and female population this much in case if you can't able to find how much male and how much female are there then always use this technique right from the total if x is the male then remaining some amount minus x will be the female so if you write this then solving the remaining step by reading the question will be very simple understood so answer for question number six will be 60 will be the number of boys 90 will be the number of girls so according to the question our target is to find the number of boys so we can say that the answer for this question is 60 so question number seven so a fruit seller add some apples and he sells 40 percentage apples and still he has 420 apples so our target is to find what is the original apple originally how much apples he had so friends just see here it's a very simple question again uh, you can solve this question by a normal method or else by a traditional percentage method it seems like a normal shortcut method itself it's very simple without using pen and paper you can able to solve it question why because just see he adds some total amount of apples right we don't know how much apples he had let me keep it as 100 percentage so 100 percentage will be the total number of apples he had so from this 100 percentage how much apples he sold 420 that is 40 percentage right first let me keep it as 40 right okay so 40 percentage apples has been sold so what is the remaining percentage here from 100 if he sells 40 percentage so remaining 60 percentage of apples will be there so this 60 percentage of apples according to the question because he had 420 apples still left so we can say that the remaining percentage is 60 so the remaining apples is 420 so this 60 percentage will be 420 so our target is to find what is the total number of apples he had originally so initially we can say that 100 percentage will be the total apple so 100 percentage is equal to x 
so x is equal to 420 into 100 so divided by 60 so we can cancel this becomes 70 so x is equal to 700 so resultant answer will be 700 so which means the total number of apples e add initially will be 700 so friends got it so this is the simple way right you can without using any formulas or without using the techniques everything uh, traditional methods equations everything we can easily able to solve this question many question while teaching i have solved in this way because it's very simple right if you practice more definitely pen and paper is not required to solve this question just see if you if you want to solve the same question by a traditional method if you don't know how to solve it you always solve in a traditional method that too is also very simple just listen carefully initially he had how much apples some amount of apples right let me keep it as x so x will be the total amount of apples he had originally so now from this total apple initially how much percentage of apples he sold 40 percentage so 40 percentage of x plus the remaining apples that we have is how much 420 so 420 is the remaining apple resultant will be the total apple so friends understood or not so from the total apple he sells 40 percentage initially and the remaining apple will be 420 e add so resultant will be the total apple that is x so if you solve it you will get the same answer so 40 by 100 into x plus 420 is equal to x here so we can cancel 0 and 0 so resultant will be 4x plus 4200 is equal to 10x so 10x minus 4x resultant will be 6x so 6x is equal to 4200 so x is equal to 700 got it just see both the ways we are getting the same answer so answer for this question is 700 so only important step in the traditional method will be this right if you if you can able to write this step correctly in a traditional method that definitely you don't want to learn any shortcut or any formula you can always proceed by solving in a traditional method itself because traditional method is also very simple in the topic percentage right so in both the ways finally we got an answer the total number of apples he add initially will be 700 so question number eight so two numbers are in a ratio 2 is to 3. So if 20 percentage of the smaller number is added to 20 is equal to 10 percentage of the larger number and 25, then the smaller number is. So friends, what is our target in this eighth question? Our target is to find what is the smaller number. Just see here, initially they have given two numbers, that two in a ratio, not in a numbers, right? Exact uh, numbers has been not yet given, they have given in terms of ratio. So two numbers, ratio is how much? 2 is to 3. So what we can do here is, the first number can be taken as 2x. And the second number can be taken as 3x. And here itself we can easily find that, which is the smaller number here. Definitely 2x will be the smaller number. And 3x will not be the smaller number, it's a larger number. Let me assume like this. A smaller number will be 2x. And the next number will be the larger number. Got it? But now our target is to find what is the smaller number that is 2x. So next point what they have given us, if 20 percentage of the smaller number is added to 20, right? So first what we can do is 20 percentage of the smaller number. So 20 percentage of the smaller number is what 2x. Percentage of 2x is added to how much is added to 20. Got it? So this is the first point they have given. So this is equal to again 10 percentage of the larger number and 25 so what is the larger number here 35 right so 10 percent sorry 3x is the larger number so 10 percentage of the larger number added with 25 so both the terms are equal to so now i think our target is to solve this equation and we need to find what is the value of x here got it so what we can do is 20 percentage of 2x can be written as 20 by 100 into 2x so plus 20 equal to 10 by 100 of 3x so that is 10 by 100 of plus 25 right so i think we can cancel this on so we can cancel this becomes 10 times here so similarly we can cancel 0 and 0 let me keep the both the terms as 10 and 10 because it is easy to cancel right so we can keep this as 4x so plus 20 into 10 will be 200 is equals to so similarly here 1 into x will be 3x so 25 into 10 will be 250. So here also we have denominator 10 and here also we have denominator 10. So we can cancel 10 and 10 here. Got it. So after taking LCM, we have cancelled both the denominator value. So now we can say that here 4x and here it is x. So when you subtract both the values, 
resultant will be x is equal to 250 minus 200 will be 50. So finally we can say that the value of x will be 50. So if value of x is 50 our target is to find the smaller number right. The smaller number what we assume as 2x. So 2 into 50 will be 100. So 100 will be the smaller number. So similarly 3 into 50 150 will be the larger number. So we can say that the smaller number will be 50. So x is equal to 50 the smaller number will be 100. So friends got it. So here you I think we don't want to go with any shortcut method. We can go with option. One way we can go with option. Why? Because the smaller number 20 percentage and the larger number 30 percentage after adding some numbers both are equal to. Right. If both are equal to from the options we can pick and we can check which two options which uh, which number is getting equal on both. It's one way of solving but it is difficult right. You need to find for all the five options it's waste of time. So even if you take one option 20 seconds or 15 seconds, five option resultant might be more than one minute, right? So you don't want to go with this method. Directly you can proceed in a traditional method itself because it's, it seems to be very easy. So answer for question number eight where value of x is equal to 50. So the smaller number will be 100. So last question of this video. So if price of a book is first decreased by 25 percentage and increased by 20 percentage, the net change in the price of the book will be. Just see our target is to what? Our target is to find the net change, right? So never forget this formula, right? Uh, initially in the beginning of the video itself, I have told you there are three important formulas in the percentage. X is what percentage of Y? X is what percentage more or less than Y? Then the percentage change. The same formula, right? They can ask in terms of percentage change or a net change. Everything is same. What is the formula here? A plus B a plus b plus a b by 100 so this is one of the most important formula not only here some data interpretation topic or some other tough level questions can also be solved by using this formula because you know first what they said the price of the book is first decreased by 20 so initially the price of the book is how much it has been decreased by 20 if it is decreased i have written as subtraction in case if it is increased we can add and write the percentage value got it so second and then increased by 20 so in this scenario we can go with 20 percentage so initially 25 percentage decrease and then 20 percentage increase so now what you need to do is take this as value of a right take this value as a and take this value as b substitute in the formula so instead of a minus 25 so minus 25 so instead of b it is 20 so plus minus 25 into 20 so divided by 100 got it so minus 25 plus 20 will be minus 5 here so plus so we can cancel this 5 times again we can cancel this 5 times so minus 5 got it so minus 5 and minus 5 i think 5 20 5 times 10 again 5 times okay so minus 5 and minus 5 will be minus 10 percentage got it so resultant will be our target is to find what is the net change so the net change will be minus 10 percentage so friends got it so this is the way you have to solve this question that is based on net change or the total change or the percentage change everything is same formula right a plus b plus a b by 100 so similarly in my uh, tutorial videos that on the topic percentage i have told like if there are three percentages minus 25 plus 20 and minus 10 what do you need to do so everything I have taught you earlier. So if you watch all those videos and learn the basics, then solving all these SSC previous year questions will be very simple. So friend, that's it about this video. So thank you so much for watching this video. So if you really like it, share this video to your friends, those who are preparing for SSC exams. So thank you so much for watching it. Bye.